Here's some other crazy news for Vital Vegas. If you guys ever heard of Vital Vegas on Twitter, it's Scott Robin. Um, it, he he used to be on the, the news once. That's when I first saw him here in Vegas. I think he was on Channel Eight. He he does, did like a little thing about things happenings in Vegas, and he's been doing a Twitter for a long time, and he has a, a website. Well, um, he has like seventy three thousand followers or something. So he's like pretty big in Vegas, and we've always tweeted him. Well. Recently, he put a statement on Twitter saying, and I think he also probably put a blog on his website. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know too far. To, yeah, I think there was a blog too. Um, stating that Sahara was going to close in September is what he had heard. He had heard because I think he talks to a lot of bartenders and things because um, he goes to the bars and the casinos and plays. So you hear a lot of rumblings. So he said, uh, you know, rumor, but he said they're going to be closing in September. Well, whether that was true or not, Sahara is now suing him. And this is pretty big because he's a blogger. So this is like kind of like a crazy thing that now someone as a blogger is being held accountable for the things they're saying because you, you can impact things and you can legally, because um, you all have freedom of speech or whatever, but there are things that like if you were causing, you know, um, certain things were like what he said people then cancel they're saying that people then canceled their tickets because they thought it was going to be closed in september and so they uh, might be able to hold him liable for some of these damages and things of and some of the loss but what's crazy is they're probably going to blame him for more losses than what's really going on because everyone is losing right now but it was a crazy thing for us i just saw it today fox 5 las vegas tweeted it and i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy because um, it's just a, you don't, you know, like, we've always tried to be very careful with what we say, but we've definitely stepped on a lot of toes in the past, but luckily we don't have any money, so no one would have even bothered to sue us. If someone tried to sue us, I'd be like, hey, do you mind if I borrow money for a lawyer? 